You recall on the previous video that I had two forged blades. Now in part two, I jump from a forged blade that's been bathed in vinegar overnight, and then all of a sudden, magically, the blade has been cleaned up and prepared for assembly. Uh, the purpose in that was that I wanted to demonstrate the forging via the press. It was less about grinding the blade, and it was more about forging. However, seeing some of the questions that have come through in comments on the video, uh, and thank you for those, uh, I thought that it might be a good idea to just for a file and shape up the second blade that was featured in that video. So this is it. Um, some time ago I did a very quick profile and a very quick flatten of the blade, um, but as you can see it's still very much straight out of the forge uh, and from the press. So what I'll demonstrate is, is the final uh, grinding on this blade. I'll profile it further, I'll do some fo uh, further shaping and um, just show the process of grinding the blade. Okay, I've done some more profiling. Uh, what I'm aiming for here is a, a bowie, bowie knife. It's the distinctive shape of the blade, will tell you. Uh, I've shaped up the end of the handle here. Um, curves through here to eliminate stress rises. As I said before, uh, I'll get the right lighting angle. There's a number of inclusions still here, but again, we'll just carry on with those. Uh, really I just want to get it to a point where I can grind this thing and have solid steel in the middle, that's our ultimate aim. So I'm about to heat treat this uh, via the forge and some oil. healthy colour on it now so I'm ready to quench it a second time. My quench tank is filled with canola oil uh, and that's fantastic because every time I quench it smells like I'm cooking french fries. Alright here she is, smoking knife blade after the second quench. Um, right, then we go for a third quench now or third heat treat. Following the quench in oil, the blade needs to be tempered and this takes out the extreme hardness of it. I mean hard means brittle, so there's a balance between hardness and flexibility. So to do that it soaks for a little bit of time, an hour or so, in, this, um, in an oven. Now I want to tell you that while uh, knife making can be as expensive as you want, it can also be at a budget price. This little oven here, which I used to temper with, I literally paid five bucks for. Um, so don't get put off by what is perceived to be an expensive hobby. It, it doesn't have to be. You can use a minimum of tools and still have an awful lot of fun. Here's the knife from the tempering oven. It's got a nice, nice, nasty, hard baked surface, which I'm about to grind off now. So let's get into it.
Okay, I'm just going to swap out this wheel now for a flat platen arrangement. I like a flat grind on my blades, so uh, let's do it now. Okay, so I've done the first uh, grind on this, the initial grind. Now this is with a pretty severe gritted blade, uh, belt, 40 grit. Already you can see the texture of the uh, links through, showing through in the blade there. All right, we'll carry on improving on the grits now to get this cleaned up. Right, that's grinding after a 120 grit. Now going to 240. Alright, we'll do the final grit now, 600. Okay, the final step is to etch this now to bring out the pattern. Um, by the time I've taken this off a 600 grit belt, the pattern's been obliterated. Um, so the etch will uh, etch into the softer layers and bring them forward. So let's see what happens. Right, let's give this a rinse. So here's the original knife that featured in the first two parts to this video. Here's the second blade. Um, it's taken the colour really nicely and you can definitely tell it's of the same family, got the same billet as the previous knife. There really is some lovely contrast in here uh, and in between the links there's quite a bit of variation in the steel as well. So overall I'm, I'm pretty happy this is this has come out nice. I'm looking forward to handling it now, putting a handle on it and um, finishing it off. Well here she is, finished. I went ahead and put a walnut handle on it uh, using the same technique as featured in the other video. So uh, it's got a stainless steel bolster uh, which has been fitted to it. Um, it's had a, an etching so you can see the, the fantastic patterns come through on the blade. So overall, um, this has been a very fun project. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you.